In this video, we're going to create a badge from a drawing that has been physically drawn and then scanned to create a digital copy. Now, this particular one has been scanned as a TIFF file. We need to convert that to a JPEG. And then we're going to use an pro online program called Pixlr to crop it and then to do a little bit of tidying up. So the first thing you need to do is convert it to a, J, a JPG, a JPEG. So type in convert to JPG. This first one, image online convert, is really good. Click on that. Choose your file. Open. So it's a TIFF. Start conversion. I'm going to go to my downloads, copy it, so that one is a JPG, so I'm back to Chrome, you need to type in Pixlr and click uh, and you need Pixlr editor. You need to enable Adobe Flash Player. Allow. And open image from computer. Now the first thing we're going to do is crop it. It's on the crop tool already. You can move it in and out to get it where you want it. Click off on that white space. Yes. We're going to rotate it. Rotate counterclockwise. Now we're just going to zoom in a little bit. You can edit it in here a little bit with the, uh, we'll grab the eraser tool. Up here we'll change the size of it. So you can do it on this program, or you can do some editing on the next program, which is going to be uh, Lightburn, which I think I'll do in Lightburn, but if you want, you can do some tidying up in this as well, either with the razor tool or the pen and pencil tools. So we're going to save this, file, save. Good name. Needs to be a JPEG. Okay. It's going to my Stormtrooper folder. Save. That's a JPG. Okay, you need to open up Lightburn and you need to click on laser and make sure that it's set to the router, which is the larger laser cutter, CO2 laser cutter. Then we're going to go to window and make sure it's on filled smooth. And we're going to go into settings and make sure that the grid snap distance is 0, 0.0. File import. That's the JPEG I just created. Open. Now our next job is to make it an appropriate size. 
I want this to be a regionally large badge, so I'm going to make it about 50, maybe 60. So I'm going to keep it locked. I'm going to type in 60. I'm going to have this so it's quite big, and it's going to be pretty obvious that we're into Star Wars. Next job is we're going to do an image trace, and then we're going to tidy up all the imperfections. First, I'm going to highlight it. Tools, trace image. So it's done a really good tracing of it. I'll leave a link in the description of a video on more detail how to do this. It's being produced by Lightburn. So I'm going to drag that to the side. There's my tracing. And that's a cut file. We don't in fact need this one anymore, so I'm going to delete it. Now that we've got the image trace on this, we're going to click on it. And we're going to ungroup it. Now all these different parts are separate. We'll zoom in a bit. You can do this with the wheel on the mouse. Click on this edit nodes. And we can identify or click on separate sections we want and edit the nodes to tidy it up. So we can tidy up some of these things here. So I'm going to click on it, edit nodes. If I want to delete a line or a section, I hover over the line and press D, and it takes away that section. If I want to delete a node, I hover over the node and press D. Same as I can insert one by hovering over and pressing I. And we've also got these toggles. But I'll leave a link in the description with another light burn video on how to use the nodes in a lot more detail. So I'll hover over that, zoom in, hover over this line here, and delete it. And then basically I can connect these up. And then you can spend a bit of time with these toggles and tidy up all your shapes that you want to adjust. And I'll adjust these ones here off the grill, maybe tidy this up a little bit, and then when I've done that, we'll resume this video with all my updates. Okay, I've tidied that up quite a bit. Now you can also just move and rotate. So I'll click on that, it can be moved to move it closer or apart, but I can also rotate it slightly. Right, I'm going to do a file save as. Should have done one of these earlier. File, save as, badge, stormtrooper. Right, I'm going to do a copy of this. So I'm going to select it. Control C, Control V. Select this one and I'm going to change it to a scan file. Change it to blue. It's already on scan, so that could be a scan or it could be a cut. So if it's a cut in the preview window, it's just a cut file. But if I change that to scan and preview, the black is what's going to be laser cut and over here laser engraved. Move that. Now I'm going to work out what I'm going to cut out for a laser cut of a different material like black acrylic for different parts of this. So it's going to be a white acrylic with a black acrylic. So I'm going to do a copy of this to create a back layer. Control C, Control V, and I'm going to delete all the bits I don't want for the back. So that is going to be my back. That's a cut file. And then on this one here, I'm going to laser engrave it, but I'm going to have this piece here black. Elements here are the grill, 
and I'll probably have these circles black and everything else I'm going to leave as a laser engrave. So I'm delete in this one everything else. Get it undo, grab the wrong thing. Zoom out, do these ones. So this is just about ready to set everything up. So we're going to use this, put it over the top of this one, so that we can laser cut into this black line will end up black acrylic. This will just be laser engraved. The circles and these bits of the grill are going to be black acrylic. So I'm going to copy this. Control C, Control V. That's going to be a cut file. So I need to align these. So that this one goes over the top. So first I need to group them. Group this one. Group this one. So they should be both grouped. Align, align vertical, center, align horizontal, center, done. If we, so if we do the preview, you can see that those bits are going to be cut out. So it's going to laser engrave and cut those bits out. Now we're going to set up our files for what's going to be laser cut and laser for all our different components. So this one will be black acrylic and we'll cut out these pieces we need and we'll insert them into the holes of this one which is made out of plywood which will also be getting laser engraved and the back here will make white acrylic. So we're going to set up, the we've got a library set up and we're going to set up our powers and speeds. So we're going to uh, cut file, so you want to do the scan file first, so I'm going to have to change this priority. So I'm going to move that. I'll move this one down to priority one. So I want to do the scan first and the cut afterwards. So we've got Ruder plywood. So we're going to do the plywood on this one here, which is this file here. So I'll click on that, root of badge plywood. We want to do a scan, so click on scan and go assign to layer. So that changed, now it's 75 millimeters a second, 50% power, 15% power. And then this cut file, which is black, we want to do cut, assign to layer, and that's gone 10 millimeters a second at 30% power. Save this file, so save. Now we're going to delete these ones and we're going to just copy this file into a folder. So what you want to do is save a file and in your Google Drive there is a shared resources folder and inside that folder will be different folders that got different materials, e.g. plywood, black acrylic, white acrylic, and you put the corresponding file for your material for your badge into those folders in the shared resources in Google Drive. So I'm going to delete the bits I don't want to save for this plywood. File, save as. You need to name it, put your name on it. And this one is going to be plywood. Save. So that job's done. So I'm open, I'm going back to my master. 
Next, I'm going to do my white acrylic. So I'll delete these ones here. Change this to acrylic. So that cut file, I want to do Ruta badge acrylic. Cut file, assign to layer, and that's changed to 40% power. File. Save as. Save. Going back to my master. This time I'm going to do the black acrylic. Delete this one. I have to, oh, that's still plywood, so I'm going to click on there. Acrylic, cut, assign to layer. File, save as. So that job's done. Now it doesn't matter where you do your saving on this platform representing the laser cut table. We're going to cluster them all in a certain zone from different students and we'll just be able to copy and paste your ones and paste them into a master document. So if these were, both these ones here were going to be white, we would move them so that they were clustered. And there might be six or seven students, different ones in this zone, and then we'll laser cut it to get the most efficient use of that white acrylic. Thanks for watching another video by Digital Dovetail. Like and subscribe.